Hello everyone and welcome back to the GTA 5 information show and today I'm going to give you my input on what I think will happen in the wanted si wanted level system and what can be improved from GTA 4 to come into GTA 5 uh, for the police and the wanted levels. Such things will, incru will include, uh, include uh, handcuffing and surrendering and obviously I'm going to give you some of my what I think will happen in the 1 star, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 star wanted levels. Now obviously there's going to be military, so obviously with the 6 star there's going to be like army taking over, ro roads blowed up, blocked off and tanks, so stuff like that. Now uh, Dan Hazard did confirm that um, uh, nothing much has really changed from the GTA 4 one level, but I'm just going to give you my thoughts on what could be improved. So here we go, in the background as well there's just some wanted level gameplay I just recorded on GTA in the background. Okay, so the first one I'm just going to say is um, for handcuffing. Uh, so I think during one star wanted levels, cops should only try and handcuff you, uh, cop as they won't use their guns unless you do. Uh, the handcuffs will work, you know, similar to the mission in Red Dead, which cow would die many times. Uh, at some point in the game, you earn the ability to free yourself, uh, which is while being handcuffed, you can tap A or X to try to escape. If you escape, you can run, but your hands will still be cuffed. Once and if you lose your wanted level, uh, the player will unlock his cuffs, stuff like that. And cops will run and tackle you to the ground and handcuff you like that. So that's going to be a pretty awesome thing as well. Okay, surrendering, I think. Uh, at any point in the game, players should have the choice to surrender. Uh, you most likely will not surrender during a 1 or 2 star wanted level. However, at 3 or more, a notification should pop up informing the player of his options. Uh, his fines and penalties are also included. Most likely, refusing to, to surrender will have a financial consequence. Uh, cops should ha have the ability to pull you over as well. Uh, when the cops pull you over, you'll pay an immediate fine. You won't get busted, but this will be very similar to when you call up Francis to get rid of your wanted level. Or do the wanted level cheap. It would only work for crimes below two stars. Giving the player the ability to pull over and pay for their crimes eliminates unwanted wanted levels. Instead of getting busted and respawning at the police station, you could just pay off your crimes immediately. Think about all the times when you got aggravated for getting a wanted level. Wouldn't you like to just immediately get rid of it? Stuff like that. <coughs> so that's the little thing. Uh, the wanted levels... Uh, the th 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, star, 1, 8, level, this is what I'm, I'm thinking is going to happen. Or what would be really cool if it did happen. Um, 1 on 1 star, the cops run quite fast, tackle you to the ground and handcuff you. Handcuffing will be the only method of arresting during a 1 star 1, 8, level. Uh, at some point in the game, you earn the ability to free yourself, which is while being handcuffed, you can tap A to try and escape. If you escape, you can run, but your hands will still be cuffed. Once and if you do 1, 8, level, the player will unlock his cuffs. Shooting, and gun, shooting a gun will automatically give you two stars. It will be easier to hide from the cops because there will be most likely a one, about one or five police officers in the radius, probably about five. If you escape in a vehicle, you will automatically get, attain a two-star wanted level. If you're already in a vehicle, you will eventually get a two-star wanted level after 25 seconds of running from the police. Cops pull you over while in a vehicle. You have 25 seconds to pull over your car to the side of the road, otherwise you'll get a two-star wanted level. Cops pull you over for hitting pedestrians, drunk driving, and recklessly driving through toll booths, or not speeding. And the cops do not fire weapons at one, one star one level. With a two star, I think cops should use their weapons, but only if you fired a gun. Shooting your gun will most likely give you a two star one level. Two stars most likely means double the police. Instead of one to five police officers, you'll have five to fifteen. Cops have the backup uh, option, and they will not try and handcuff you unless you haven't fired a weapon. The three star, I think, the first is the first serious one in the level, as the police will always use their guns unless you surrender. The police will form roadblocks manned by two, two or three police cars. The cops will start setting up spike strips. Uh, the helicopters will shine their searchlight on you, uh, which obviously you can see in one of the screenshots. You get searchlights in helicopters. Four star, I think, the cops will start setting up more roadblocks. All the roadblocks will have spike strips. Uh, the search area gets larger, obviously. Uh, the cops will use more damaging weapons. Uh, SWAT trucks, SWAT helicopters, SWAT everything <laughs> will be in here, and smoke grenades. For a five star, I think the police cars, SWAT vans, SWAT vehicles, everything like that, undercover FBI agents, and they're all going to um, be in here to lie and take you down. Uh, more smoke grenades, uh, and you're probably going to go to jail after this. Six star, want a double? You're fucked. The army completely takes over, uh, entire streets are blocked off, roadblocks are just about on every corner, and it should be very hard to get a 6 star wanted level, and the APC tank, hopefully, will be returning in that. So, you know, epic things to um, think about here, you know. Also, I think the stealing car should be more dangerous, as players should feel the heat from the police after breaking the law, especially if they do it out in the open. It's simple, more consequences equals, you know, more fear, which eventually leads to more thrill. Uh, Rockstar's manhunt had me shaking because I was terrified of dying. 
it made the game entertaining and they need to transfer this over to GTA 5 as players should feel like they're always uh, they're always looking over their shoulder. The problem uh, making it is making it fun and not annoying. So that's basically it uh, today guys. I've got one more thing for you which is police raids. And when you have a high wanted fine, the police will set up a raid outside your house after you save your game. Uh, the cool part is they will not know where you are, only if you give yourself away of course. The cops will say, we know you're in there, come out with your hands up. Um, uh, you'll have three choices, uh, you know, one, give up, two, sneak out the back door, if you have one, and three, murder them all. You know it's a raid, police cars will surround your house, SWAT trucks, helicopter spotlights, caution tape, etc. You're going to pay for your crimes. So that's basically what my input on uh, the GTA 5 wanted level. Obviously none of this is confirmed, that's just what I would like, really like to happen. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background guys as well. So if you did enjoy it guys, please give it a like and a comment, uh, and subscribe if you liked it. So I'll see you in my next uh, video guys on GTA 5. Bye.